Hey there, it's Brittany, and I am back with the September Magical Mystery Bead Box. Mine took a detour to Puerto Rico, and it just showed up today. I'm very excited about it. So I have no idea. I haven't let anybody spoil it for me. It's so funny because Sarah James kept talking about it. I was like, no, no. I would cover my ears. So let's take a look. All right, it says Autumn Flight, celebrating the magical journey of our monarchs and moths. Do you seek the sun or follow the moon? Oh, okay, so sun for butterflies, moon for moths. And then, oh, that's interesting. What's inside? So here are, the inf here's the, here are the things we're inside. And then they also have a design challenge in their bead group. This is cool, I love the ombre from the yellow to the purple. Might have to do something with polymer clay with that color combo, that's amazing. All right, so. Uh, let's I'm just gonna dig in I guess there's a strand here dusk flutter oh my goodness this is pretty I don't think I've seen these bead caps before I am this we see a lot but it's really pretty and I'm totally okay with having two more because they're gorgeous we've got some nice Shambhala beads and um, two bohos with some big crystals on them that's a pretty strand and that's called Dusk Flutter. We've got Fluttering Butterfly Charms. Okay, so these are some little, like, um, I forget what this is called, like tool wings almost. It's not tool, but I can't remember what the name of the, the fabric is. Um, we've got some cute little purple earring charms, or, well, just butterfly charms. Those are cute. And then cute little filigree butterflies love those next we have monarch morning okay we've got some cute little crystals and the funny thing is i just saw it by accident saw this bead cap and and on top of you guys know I love pineapple. This would be so fun as a pineapple. <laughs> I might need to make that happen. Um, these are pretty cool. They're uh, little bead cages. My little crystal kind of got stuck in there, but you can put that in there or gemstone, but I really like it. It surrounds um, your beads like a bead frame. Some metal. Jesse James Beads does really good metal. Um, some more, is that called like magma um, they're matte and shiny some little teardrops I like that white some ovals very crystal heavy in this mix some more bead caps ooh some peach cat's eye More crystal, like disco balls. Some little orange crystals. It's funny, this is not a Halloween theme. However, it has the Halloween colors of orange, black, and purple. So you could certainly, if you didn't want to think about it as a, um, a uh, butterfly theme, you could use it in conjunction with some of your Halloween stuff. These are really fun. I don't know. These are nice little rondelles and then we have some little bicones like elongated bicones some black crystal rondelle spacers those are cool two little teardrop filigree pendants charms little triangle crystals some potato chip spacers and these cool little crystal drops. I, I used these on some earrings um, last month. That is a neat mix. Oh, and some filigree bead caps. All right, so then we have some cup chain here. Oh, and cup chain findings. So we have 18 inch crystal, uh, I'm sorry, amethyst and gold. So it's purple. I don't have any purple cup chain. I 
to get my act together and use some cup chain. I know I have a bunch from Jesse James Beads. And then we have Golden Crystal. It's 18 inches for each color. And then some findings. Then we have a Summer Migration Strand. So we've got a nice hexagon, a beautiful bling ball here, huge. Then this really pretty square crystal that matches the yellow um, twisty circle that we had earlier, and that's a scientific name, <laughs> yellow twisty circle. And then um, a ceramic um, like melon. Eh, it's not a melon, but I don't really know what side, what shape that is. Some bead caps, a crystal, a really cool um, crystal rondel spacer, um, like an opalite rondel, and then it repeats. That's a cool strand. Then we have Fancy Wing Pair. That's pretty. I don't think I'd use them together. I think that would be from like, I don't wear earrings, but this would be a bit much for me for a pair of earrings. I think this would be really nice on a necklace so you can get two necklaces out of it. Then we have um, Empress Butterfly. This is another bead mix. So we have two bead mixes, two um, strands, two pieces of chain, two pen, well, a pen, pendant, actually two pendants because we have some more coming up and then two charm sets. All right, let's see what's in here. It's two of everything, I love it. All right, so some really cool bead caps. These are really neat and you can actually even set some rhinestones in them because I don't think I'm seeing rhinestones in it, but those are really neat. Look at these, I love those. That would be great as um, a ring on a bracelet. These have crystals inside. I don't know if you can hear that. Some crystal rondelles in purple, very light purple. Some darker teardrops. Some glass, metallic glass. Um, some flower bead caps. Two crystal butterflies, which are super cool. Super duper cool. These are really fun little crystals. Actually, I have some of these on the bracelet that I'm wearing right now. Um, some more metal beads. Some spacers. Ooh, mermaid glass. I love mer the purple mermaid glass. Actually, I love all mermaid glass, to be honest. Then we have some emerald cut rectangles. These are like chatons, but double-sided. Those are cool. I haven't seen those in a JJB mix yet. Um, some small purple rondelles crystal rondelles, um, some little lilac -y lavender glass beads, and some matte purple. That's a great mix too, especially if you love purple. All right, we have two more things. The first is um, called Monarch Butterfly Charms. So we, this isn't just a charm, this is a pendant. Uh, it's really pretty and uh, it's painted on one side to look like a monarch butterfly, but then the other side is silver. So you could have a double-sided necklace, or you could paint one side to um, be whatever color you want, leave it, just use the silver side, whatever floats your boat. That's pretty cool. Then we have two monarch butterfly charms, just like the purple butterfly charms we had earlier. And then last but not least, we have the Luna Moth metal pendant. This is really cool. I have, I, haven't, I don't know that I've ever seen a Luna Moth in real life. If I have, it was maybe once, but this is pretty neat. It's huge. You could do so much with this. You could leave it like it is. You could use it, push it into polymer clay um, and have it backed by polymer clay. You could use resin with it. You could wire wrap it. You could paint it. You could do so much with this, hang something from it. It's really cool.
All right, so my favorite things from this box are this Luna Moth pendant. I really like the rings in the, oh, the rings and the bead caps in this mix. It's looking like my favorite things were like the metal this month. And I really liked these bead frames as well. I think the mixes and the strands were gorgeous. I think, it, and this is hard for me to say, it wasn't my favorite box of the year, but because there were so many really good ones this year, I think that not every one of them can be my favorite. And I just came off of the Scarborough Fair one where I made like a bajillion pieces of a jewelry. <laughs> But I think this is gorgeous for especially heading into um, Halloween with the purple and the orange. So let me know what was your favorite piece. Um, I'm definitely going to get some mileage out of this because it's, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, just not my the, the top five of the year for me so far. Um, let me know what you think and I hope you have a good day. Stay tuned for Goldie. If you're interested in subscribing to the Magical Mystery Beadbox, check out my, the description of this video and I'll give you a, um, an affiliate link. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, baby girl.